Today is this week's new comic book day, so let's go ahead and take a look at next week with my top 10 comic picks for next week's new comic book day, March 27th, 2024. I did want to remind you I do have my PayPal and my Venmo in the description of this video if you want to support the channel. But without any further ado, let's get started. Kicking things off, I actually have a couple honorable mentions, and one is this back issue number 150, which it looks like is released by Tomorrow's Publishing. I'm not familiar with these, but 13 bucks, you get 100 pages, and it looks like it's a um, exploration of Batman of the 1970s, uh, so... It explores the work of the Bronze Age, Batman artist Bob Brown, Dick Giordano, Irv Novick, Frank Robbins, Walter Simonson, Alex Toth, and Bernie Wrightson. And then it says, plus revisit Frank Miller's first Batman story. So if you're really into Batman, this might be something that you'd want to pick up. Uh, you might be able to find this if you wait a little bit off of eBay for a little bit cheaper. Uh, maybe also even get free shipping. But that's my first honorable mention. And then my second one is... This one's more of just a cover buy. And it's just, you know, pretty cool cover that I thought's really nice. And now let's move on to number 10. And that is Cerebus number 1. This is the facsimile edition. This is kind of a classic book. The thing that gets me, though, is it's 24 pages for 20 bucks. So I don't quite know if this is something I am even interested in, but I do know that this is a pretty popular book as far as, you know, comic book history and stuff goes, so I thought I'd put that there, but that's why it's 10. Let's move on. Number 9, we have Star Wars The High Republic Adventures Crash Landing Number 1. There's really nothing to this book so far, nothing, no, like, news of spec or anything, but it is a number 1 of a Star Wars... Uh, book, especially from Dark Horse, they generally have better stories than Marvel, and uh, so it kind of had to it had to make the list. But again, down at nine. At number eight, we have Jackpot and Black Cat number one. Again, this one doesn't really have any spec yet or anything that's come out but it is the number one of jackpot and black cat so again it makes the list but a low low on the list here at number eight moving along to number seven we have miles morales spider-man number 18 and this is the oversized 300th issue of a miles morales headlining title they might throw something in here that could be a nice key but uh like we know the asm 300 has you know the classic homage cover or cover that is homaged you know ad nauseum to infinity all that so um moving along to number six we have incredible hulk number 10 now this one actually has some spec to it and it's that it's but it's a possible spec which is why it's here at the bottom uh, at number six and that is the first a possible first appearance of the ghost detective and it says so the ghost detective takes Hulk on a noir hunt for a serial killer serial killer set in the 1850s so there you go and number five we have Okay, so this one I put... Because I think this one itself will have more value than the other book. That's what, They kind of deserve their own separate spots here. Sometimes I'll just put them back to back, but at the same spot. But I do think that this will have a much higher value than the cover A or just the book by itself. Because it's this cover. Because it's a 1 for 100. And it's a Signia Virgin variant. They've been doing these. We saw them with... Uh, I think like Scarlet Witch, Magneto, some other characters. Uh, so there you go. Number four, we got Ultimate Spider-Man number three. This one, I think, just kind of beats out everything because I think 
again, I go based off what I think will have good value on the secondary market. And so this one is number four because I think it it's the book that has the most um, promise as far as secondary market goes without having actual spec value. The other ones higher than this, I think actually have some spec value with at least just as good, if not better, secondary market value. So let's get into my top three at Edge of Spider-Verse, number two at number three. And this is the first appearance of Spooky Man, who is this character here, I'm guessing. And let me see, where did I see... And then here's a the car Andrews. No, I thought there was a. Oh, it was a retailer exclusive. There's the homage right there. So yeah, that's my number three. And of course, my number two is X Men ninety seven number one. And I am actually filming this on Tuesday night, waiting. After this, I'm going to edit it and everything, and then I'm going to go watch X-Men 97, the first episode. I am so excited for this show, you guys. I watched the trailer again tonight, and I watched the last few episodes of Season 5 on Disney+, Plus to kind of re-familiarize myself with it, because this literally starts right after. I mean, I think it starts literally like... 10 minutes, like, it starts right after. So, if you're into the X-Men 97 uh, show, this is a prelude to it. So, I don't know, um, exactly. Um, I guess there was some time in between, and this is kind of, talks about their time in between. But, uh, yeah, I'm just really excited for this. It'll be really interesting to see what they were doing after Xavier left and after this episode and all that, um, knowing what happened. But before I get into my number one, I did want to remind you, I do have my PayPal and my Venmo in the description of this video if you want to support the channel and leave a message with your support and I will read it. Uh, but let's get into number one and that is Feral number one. This is a new horror from the creators of Stray Dogs. We don't know if it's obviously go we obviously don't know if it's going to have the same value the same impact the same um what's it called demand on the secondary market that, that uh the first one that stray dogs had um but it's the same thing as stray dogs but with cats so we will see also stray dogs came out in you know i think the 2020 2021 time where comic books were kind of hitting uh, almost all collectibles really were hitting their peak and have since gone down but this might be the perfect time this almost seems like it's a renaissance of uh comic books they're, they're coming back in collectibles things are finally starting to regain some value here and this might be the perfect time for them to uh have gotten back in the game and especially having made something like stray dogs with feral number one which is my number one for next week's new comic book day march 27th 2024 all right, everybody, that's going to go ahead and do it for me in this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and my top 10 comic picks for next week's new comic book day, March 27th, 2024. If you did enjoy this video, please click that thumbs up button and give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel, comment down below, share this thing out there. Uh, check out my links in the description. I'm going to leave a couple cards here. One is going to be the... Um, my uh, picks for today and the other one is going to be some awesome Fortnite winning shots that I got so check that out uh, I really really want to also do some gaming on here see what I can do uh, as far as getting an audience for that as always thank you for checking out this video especially those of you who made it this far and until next time